All right, so we have our crew making an approach. You'll see the ski coming in here, and of course they're towing the boat behind them. But they've chosen a very unique approach, which is holding the line, which is makes this a whole lot more... Oh no, the ski's going over! By holding the line, you don't get a good center of gravity, a lot of tension on a person. I mean, this was bound to fail from the beginning, but they made it this far doing that. But, man, they just needed to tie that line off to something else on the ski. But that ski just couldn't handle the pressure with the weight of the people on the ski and the line. It was enough, and now this boat's just floating. So, our crew is kind of waiting for some more assistance. We got our guys trying to get back on the skis. And we've got at least one person back. I didn't even see where the other person went, but I don't see them in the water anymore. They must have swam up to one of the docks. So our guy's back on the ski trying to get this one going, but our crew's just floating now. And it looks like the red ski's talking to him as well, so hopefully one of these guys is going to be able to grab this line and get him back up here. So we're going to have to do this by hand again, though. Once again, it's a difficult chore to try and do this by hand. I mean, you're carrying a couple thousand pound boat with several people on it. Sure, it's on water and it slides, but it's still not the easiest thing to do control while trying to drive a ski and get this pulled over. So slow and easy does it. Let's see how our next contestant does trying to get this boat over here. So he's going to let this hurricane deck boat clear in front of him. And then we're going to go ahead and try and make our approach. But there's a couple boats coming in and out here. So he's going to have to make some dodgy moves as he tries to get in between all the action. So I thought he was going to take him to two, but it looks like he's changing his mind. There we go. He's going back to two now. And so the people on the boat are kind of like, hey, bro, see if you can get us over to the dock. He's kind of taking tension off the line. And maybe the wind and current will get him over there a little bit. Oh, he's going to back up and try and pull him over one more time. And they're going for the reach. Can they make it? And yes, we have a little success. And after what was probably started off as a good day, ended as a bad day for this crew, they still get onto the dock successfully. But it's always, always a rough one when you're out there and something goes wrong and basically you lose power, kind of like this crew's done. But thankfully these skis helped out and these guys are good to go and they should be able to get out of here. And this is that hurricane deck boat we saw pass in front of the other broke down boat. But now they're, they were going for six, but they are struggling to get on the dock as well. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, almost bucked the girl off the front. Oh, and we're going to hit the dock. And Cap's got this one sideways. And Cap <laughs> doesn't know what to do. He just puts his hands on his head. Gotta watch out. He's backing up toward the other boat again. And there you go. Our girl's got you fixed up, Cap. <laughs> and our guy in the bow's got his hand on his head as well. Oh, no. So Cap's gonna have to reapproach this one and see if he can get it reset up. So he's backing up. I guess we're going to try and stick with six. <laughs> and Cap in the AR-230 over here is definitely on alert now. He doesn't want to leave his boat until this guy gets on the dock. He already knows he's probably going to have to push this crew off again. Alright, so these guys have reset. And let's see how the second approach looks as they come around. It doesn't look good if he's going to six because he's already missing. So he's going to have to get that stern pushed in. And here we go. 
throwing a little power behind it, and we're going to go ahead and try and get this one more time. But Cap has definitely missed six. Are we going to move to five now? Man, he's all over the place. This is going to be a rough one. It's interesting seeing him reverse the motor pull-up like that. I'm assuming his trim's broken somehow. Oh, Cap, watch the throttle. And it looks like he's going to get snaked on six by the jet ski that pulled the other boat in. Five looks open, Cap. You could probably take that. And look out. Here we go again. Coming in a little hot. You're going to have to brake check this one, probably. Oh, oh, hang on, dear. Oh, man. They are all over the place. He's actually got a good angle this time, though, so Cap might have it here. Once again, our guy's on alert, though, on the other vessel, making sure we keep them off his boat. And our girl on the bow is ready on the lines, and she's trying to toss it up to somebody. Coming in a little hot, though. Gonna have to brake check it again. Oh, and we hit the dock one more time. They're up. Still hitting that throttle a little bit. If you got somebody on the dock cap, it's probably a good time to go ahead and throw this one into neutral and just kill the motor and let them handle it from here. And it looks like these guys will get out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Holliver Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos over there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Holliver, where main and machine take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet. And in fact, if you've ever been interested in trying to get involved in something on YouTube, we are currently hiring. We are looking for camera people and on-air personalities. All over Florida, we're also looking in some other major markets such as Atlanta, Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York. If you're possibly interested in doing something fun part-time, hit us up at wavyguru1 at gmail.com and let us know and we'll get back to you. And of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.